As we mentioned, today's show is all about jewelry, and I'm feeling all dolled up. <laughs> well, you don't usually wear long earrings like that. They look really good on you. I was saying to Heidi, I said, oh, this is a bit too much for me. I think, you know, you need a neck that's about two times as long as mine. And I it's, like it. Okay, because I it's... I like it because it kind of swings with I, you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it, they, these really swing. But this is amazing because they are so lightweight. You can't even feel them. I don't feel them at all. And that's probably one of the reasons that I have in the past. Besides, I don't feel like I have a neck that's long enough. I stay away from those really large earrings because they're heavy. They're really cute. Not though. these. So these are eco-friendly. They're eco-friendly. They're out of a plastic water bottle or you could use like a soda bottle. Anything that's flat. You need that flatness to the bottle. So will you show us how these are made? I'm going to show you right now. For today's project, I'm going to use the Aline's Fabric Fusion. It comes in a squeeze bottle or it comes in this really cool pen. I'm also using a plastic bottle and if you choose them that have a smooth edge you could use like this particular one is smart water you could use like the soda bottle anything that's smooth is what you need and we're going to use just a small piece of fabric. First thing we need to do is you cut the top off the, off the bottle and just just use a craft knife and then I just simply cut it apart till I have squares like this and you can use any size this one is a one and seven eighths for what for my earrings now I just use a template put it down on my plastic and then I just mark it next thing I do is I cut it out And use really, really sharp scissors, really good scissors. This is a really nice pair of scissors. My uh, Westcott. And it just makes it go quickly. Some of the plastic on the, the bottles are just really heavy duty. Now, I forgot to mention if it has a label on it. Be sure you take the label off as much as you can. There's always going to be probably some kind of glue. And then what I do is I use a adhesive um, sticker label remover. Just put it on. Just kind of sprinkle it on. And then I wipe it off. That also takes off my um, marking pen. Because you want that plastic to be crystal clear. I turn it over. This is going to be my back side. This is going to be my front side. The curved is going to be my front side. Now I'm using the Fabric Fusion. It's actually a permanent dry cleanable fabric adhesive. I'm using it today because I like it because it's clear. I'm not going to dry clean my earrings, but I like that it's clear and it works really fast. And then I take a small piece of cardboard and I squeegee it over the plastic. You want to make sure it's solid, that you don't have any lumps <laughs> or globs of it, because that's where it will go through the fabric. Okay, the right side of the fabric goes against the glue. Then I use something just to roll to make sure it's stuck onto my plastic like so and then I just trim the excess fabric And my fabric has glued to my plastic. Use a paper punch. And you know, sometimes these plastics, again, are hard. Just punch it. And that's what we're going to use to attach our jump ring. Put the glue off here.
and I just used an eye pin. And here's a few little beads, and just put them onto the to the eye pin. And then I bend this over when I have it all on. I bend it over, clip it off just a little bit so I have enough to turn with my needle nose pliers and I just make a loop like so and of course you make two of them and then you take a jump ring and remember that hole that we just put in. You might have to trim some of that um, the fabric. Whoops. It just frayed a little bit there on the hole. We're going to put our the end of our eye pin into that. Like so. And then I take some wire, this is 24 gauge wire, have a tail of maybe three inches, wrap it around something that's smooth, maybe about six times, six, and give it another little tail on the other end. I put it down over my bead wrap it real tight on the top and then cut it and then I took this bottom tail and just made it into a spiral All you need to do is to hook on the the ear wire and all I do you either I put a small jump ring or I just open this up a little bit and put that eye pin right on there and then close it back up like so now if you want to have where you put the, you can also put the little um, earring back on the back of it, glue it on the back of it, and you can use it where it just goes right onto the ear instead of dangling. And there you have it, a super, super simple earring and it's eco-friendly. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how easy these are. Aren't they sim super simple? I mean, you're going to want, there's so many fabrics out there. I'm so excited. <laughs> I know. Finish your sentences. Finish your sentences. <laughs> there's so many fabrics out there. Can you imagine you could make something to go with every outfit that you mm -hmm. have? I know. Just, and just hundreds of them. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> but I want, before we go on to the next thing, I want to show you though, because we kind of got into earrings and we really didn't. You know, sometimes we don't mean to do it. We just, we don't know what everybody's doing until we come together and do the show. Mm -hmm. And it was funny. We all ended up making <laughs> earrings today. But I, I was also starting to um, to make a, 
necklace. So that's how I would do the necklace. Same technique, lay it out and then just punch it and then put your, your jump rings in between. But I wanted to show how I was starting to make a necklace to go with this. So Super you're simple not, again. obviously not just limited to, no. the, to the earrings. Well, don't stop there. <laughs> now with the necklace, keep in mind you are going to want to put some heavier beads on it because you want that weight on mm -hmm. a necklace. You right. don't want the weight on the earring. Right. I find every time I make eco um, jewelry out of like a water bottle, I have to use um, the glass beads because they're heavier and they pull it down. Mm -hmm. That's one of the mistakes that I have made in the past. It's like, oh, this is so cool that I'm making this necklace. And it floats. And it, yeah, it, it, it practically floats. And yeah. so you do have to weight those down. So yeah. that is so cool, Eco Heidi. Thank you.